In this demonstration, I'm going to talk a little bit about notifications. Notifications are emails that are sent out when an alarm condition occurs. If we go and look at points and select a point, see this last line says notify. This is to indicate when this point goes into the high high alarm, assuming it is enabled and has a value. If this is on, it creates a notification alert and a notification is sent based on the settings. So we go look at those settings. So the configuration notifications. This is the notifications configuration. This address is the address of the email to use for sending the notifications. You have to have an email server with a valid account to send emails from. This is the password, uh, a duplicate of the password because it logs on to send the emails. Acknowledgement required is that the email notification is sent and the user must respond with an acknowledgement email otherwise the email is sent again and it can also be sent to other people based on the the order of their level. This is the message format. This is the format that the message is sent in. This is the header. This is the uh, tag names. You can add different different fields to it. So it'll be PKHMI, the tag name, the description of the tag. This could be what time it occurred. Uh, this can go in the header. All of these conditions can go in the body of the message. Process variable, what time, condition status like high or high, high or low. Exceeded text is a text field in the point configuration which would say, for example, pump pressure exceeded bounds or, or any, any text. This primary alarm area could be uh, northwest corner of section 2, uh, but any of these fields can be added to this field, which would add it into the body. The quick help would be, for example, to handle this alarm, shut off pump using switch X174. Some email servers require that the email address is checked before email is sent from the address. It's a way to prevent outside influences from improperly sending mail via the, their server. This is the SMT port. Port 25 is frequently locked down on servers and another port is that's used is 587. Uh, the POP3 port is normally okay. This is the host name. Uh, it will, if you already know your address and your password, you'll be able to figure out the host name because you set up the email account before. This is for outgoing, this is for incoming. Logon is the type of authentication used. Logon is the most common. It could be none or any of these other ones. These are the users. and We select new and then we have an unknown user. He's not active. His level is 1. So you would give the, the user a name and you would give his email address and then you would set active for him to be active. Level is the level that he is in the chain. If we select the help button. Must have scrolled. Oh, there it is. Level. This is to the order of notification for an alarm when an acknowledgement is required. So if you make a user Joe and his level is 3 and Bob is level 4, notification is first sent to Joe. If the acknowledgement is not received after the wait time, a notification is sent to Bob. If acknowledge required is not enabled, this field is not evaluated. So you have to need acknowledgements, otherwise it doesn't know where to stop in the chain. So you could have 15 different people 
and if none of them acknowledged it, it would just continue walking up the chain, sending the email until it got to the last person. This is the start hour so that, for example, let's say we have this user Joe, and he, he works uh, from 7 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon, and he works Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That says that he will only be in the lineup to send emails to during these hours. You can of source, of course, set this to zero and 2359. And then he would be active all day long. And if you enabled every day, then he would always get email notifications. It's just a way to uh, put people on holiday, too. You can either disable them or make them inactive if they go on vacation. This is alarm groups, and you could say Joe is in charge of the pumps for alarm group 1, 2, and 3. So he would only get notifications for alarms that are in those alarm groups. So if an alarm happens in alarm group 7, which happens to be cooling tower 19, for example, he wouldn't get any notifications. Cancel. And you can duplicate a user. It just duplicates the one that's selected. And of course, you can delete a user. Uh, this just shows his, his days. We select a couple here. has to be a valid email address. This just shows some information he's, of when he's going to be getting notifications. Okay, that's it.